Hey guys, Righteous Raymond here, bringing you a word of the day. It's going to sound a little trippy when I say it, but prayer closes out bad destinies. It's going to sound weird, but let's hear me out. Prayer closes out bad destinies, okay? So when I say destinies, you know, different definitions of destinies, but the way I use destiny is to mean like, however your life could end, all the potential ways your life could end, could play out, prayer closes out, good prayer, fervent prayer, closes out bad destinies, okay? So when my sisters and I were young, our parents would drop us off at the, at the Parkway Village Library. I think it's on Winchester, I think, or Night on or something. And we would read this type of book called Choose Your Own Ending choose your own ending so the way th these books are written are the author you start everybody starts off the same exact way let's say it's a museum so it says jonathan goes to the museum but the book has a lot of different endings it can end with him in a dungeon it can end with him in jail it can end with him um in a closet somewhere really bad ending it's choose your own ending so the beginning is the same for everyone for every reader but the end is based on what choices you make. So they may say, Jonathan went through a red door. Jonathan went through a blue door. Jonathan went upstairs. Or Jonathan went downstairs. Or Jonathan followed the janitor. Or Jonathan followed the security guard. It all is based on what the character picks throughout the book. And so today I was talking to God. And you know, I've been on TikTok. Yeah, TikTok got some very interesting like theories are very interesting conspiracies so there's this conspiracy called i guess um like multiverse or parallel universes okay and so i was talking to God about prayer and i was like what if there isn't a parallel universe what if you're not in 20 different universes living 20 different lives what if prayer is closing out 30 different destinies or 100 different destinies or a thousand different destinies let's say your life could play out you're born to your mom and your dad. You know, that's it. The date you're born, your parents picked all that. That's all picked out. But what if the end of your life is ultimately chosen by the choices that you make throughout your life? Like, choose your own ending books, okay? And so, the multiverse theory is that you, it's, it's you in this one universe, and it's you in, like, 30,000 of the universes, right? Playing out in different ways. And every choice you make, it's a butterfly effect movie with Ashton Kutcher. Check that. It's a good movie. Check the movie out. Every choice you make, every choice somebody else makes for you, it determines which universe you're in. But you're in all the universes at the same time. But you're, you know, you're only conscious of the one that you're in right now because that's what you're thinking about right now. But there's another you in another universe and another universe doing different things based on what choices that you made. So I said, what if there's no universe? What if there's no parallel multi-universe or multiverse? What if prayer determines the outcome? What if it's not a universe or a planet where you're doing X, Y, Z? Let's say on one planet you're a stripper and another planet you're a doctor. What if it's not like that? What if the choices you make day by day choose your ending for you? And what if prayer shuts out bad destinies? Check that out, y'all. What if there are 100 potential ways your life can end up, right? 100 potential ways, right? And when you pray... When you pray, it shuts out bad destinies. So, I'm thinking of it this way. Let's say there are a hundred ways your life could play out, right? And then let's say that you decide to take up daily prayer. You know, you you never did a prayer person. You pray over your food for like, you know, Lord bless this food. You pray at nighttime before you go to bed. But let's say you never was a person to pray. So, let's say you start taking up this habit of praying for 10 minutes a day. You set your timer from 5 o'clock a.m. to 5, 10 a.m. every day. And as you pray, let's say God supernaturally closes out 30 bad destinies. 30 bad endings where your life could end up. Let's say prayer, daily prayer, 10 minutes a day, just got 30 bad destinies, okay? Okay? Or, or you could say universes. Then let's say you say, you know what? I've been hearing about this kind comes not out but by fasting and prayer. I'm going to try fasting, okay? So let's say you fast for two days. Let's say you fast all the daylight hours of Monday, tomorrow, and Tuesday, the next day. So you only pray. Like, as soon as the sun, when the sun is up, you're not eating any food. You're fasting and praying for two days, right? 
let's say when you fast and pray, it cuts off 20 horrible destinies. So let's say you're gonna meet this really bad man at Kroger because you fasted that day, you never met him, and you never end up being a victim of domestic violence. Or let's say if you fasted that day, you went another way to work and you avoided a car accident that would have paralyzed you from the neck down. So let's say that prayer, daily prayer, 10 minutes a day, cuts out 30 bad destinies or 30 bad universes. And let's say that fasting and prayer cuts out 20 horrible, like you'd have met like 20 horrible men throughout the week or something like that. And because you fasted it, you cut off. So that's 50. So that's out of 100 potential ways your life to end up, you just close out 50, right? Then let's say you like me, I like to go to prophetic churches. I went to two prophetic churches. I go to churches with the pastor, can prophesy and see the future and the past and the present, all the things. So I like to go to prophetic. I don't I like I don't like going to just teaching churches. I like going to churches with the pastor is prophetic. So I went to a prophetic church today, for example, two of them, and the pastor prophesied to me about something that I already knew in my spirit, and he confirmed it and he added more. And so I'm like, confirmation. So when he prophesied to me. And when I was at his church in the atmosphere, let's say they cut out 30 more destinies. 30 more destinies that they didn't fit who I'm going to be in God. 30 more destinies that they didn't fit what he prophesied over me. And let's say those 30 destinies are cut out. So I'm down, out of 100, I'm down 30 from daily 10-minute prayer. I'm down 50 total due to fasting and prayer those two days. I'm down 80 due to, I visited a prophetic church today or two today. And then let's say... I get a mentor. Let's say I want a mentor. I need mentoring. I need discipling. I go to church. I received, I recited the sinner's prayer, but I, I said, I did the altar call, I, but I need a mentor. So I just say I get a mentor. They say she's been saved for 30 years. Right. Um, and then she disciples me. She mentors me. Just her mentorship alone may cut out five bad destinies, five bad endings. I was going to go in the wrong way. And because of her mentoring me five, I said, nah, Based on what she's telling me about her background and who she knows and her her her, her bad past choices, I'm going to cut out those five. So there's 80, 85 bad destinies shut out, right? Then let's say I join, I haven't been a member of church in five years. Let's say I join a church with good teaching, you know, just good teaching, good doctrine. And let's say going there, it shows me that five more destinies aren't the will of God for my life. So I shut out five more destinies. So now we're down 20, it says 30, 20, 30, that's 80. Then this, so now there's 90. So five plus five has 90. Then let's say I just pay. Let's say I'm just patient. Let's say I see a tweet, a tweet on uh, X on Twitter, or I see a Facebook post and it says patience is a virtue. So say, you know what? I'm not going to rush into anything. I'm going to be patient and let God tell me the answer. And let's say I wait two weeks before I make a decision, right? And then in that patience, and me being patient, it cuts out five more destinies. So I'm down 95 bad out of 100 destinies, 100 potential destinies or our universes or outcomes, I'm down to five left, right? Let's say I go to a pastoral counselor. I'm going to be a pastoral counselor, okay? So you go to a pastoral counselor, and we're talking about five choices you want to make, and then we, and, and that while we're talking about your childhood and everything, your, and your family life and everything, your exes, we realize that two of those choices, three of those choices you're only picking because they remind you of your dad, because your, your toxic brother, your ex-boyfriend. So, so together in counseling, we already re rewrite off three more destinies, right? We're down to two. So 98 out of 100 destinies are cut out, okay? We got two left. Now, at church today, I went to the altar, and I kneeled before the Lord, and I said, God, I close out. I want. I said, God, I give you permission to shut out all bad destinies. I want to live according to your perfect will for my life. I know I'm not perfect, but Lord, I want to live according to your one will. God, you have one plan. You have plan A for my life. And I'm trying to do all these different, dating on these different people, trying to make my life a certain way, make all these bad choices. Lord, I want to surrender my life 100% to your will, your will only. I surrender to your will 100%. So let's say it's two more, right? Let's say it was two more. When I surrender to God, I said, God, I give you permission to shut out any bad destiny. It can even be a good destiny, but it's not your ultimate will for my life. I said, God, I give you permission, permission to shut out anything that's not like you in my life, right? And then say he cut out the last one, and there's only one will. And that's ultimately what we want to get. We want to get to the one will God has for life. God has an ultimate plan for our life, whatever. We make all, we make so many bad choices of dating certain people and going certain places, picking certain jobs you shouldn't take and going certain places we shouldn't go. And God has to, through prayer and fasting, and people giving us warnings and advice and TikTok videos and TikTok and YouTube videos, he's just that bad destiny. But if we just surrender to God's will the first time, we have to worry about choosing our own ending. Let God choose your ending for you.
Thank you all for watching. Shoes here and subscribe to my channel. Bye.